Yo, 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 what's up, guys? This is Norm from Daily Fantasy Archive. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button, press this notification bell button so you're notified every time I upload and give you guys daily advice and free lineups. And hit the like button as it really helps me uh, produce uh, free lineups and keep working hard for you guys. Let's try to smash 10 likes on this video at least. Also, follow us on Twitter at DFS underscore archive so you're notified every time I'm uploading right there. And I'll also be posting other free lineups for DraftKings and uh, other FanDuel lineups and late slates and smaller slates. I usually only do the main slates on my YouTube video. So. <clears throat> Anyways, let's get right into the day. The early slate today was fire. Hit 150.4, cash and everything. Uh, the Crosby, uh, Ganinsel, and uh, Sherry line the stack paid off. They all went huge. Crosby had a hat trick. Every one of them went in on the goals. Uh, the last night slates were fire. Everything cashed. Uh, it came really close in some 50-50s, some lineups, uh, because there was two shutouts. But pretty much almost every lineup cashed, and in the DraftKings lineups, they also cashed too. You can check in the pictures on my Twitter if you want to see the results. <coughs> tonight on goaltending, I will be looking at Scott Darling. Las Vegas favors to win tonight. Chicago is 23-9-4 on home ways. Colorado is 9-25-1 on the road. Just playing awful, as you can see by the record. Chicago is way better than Colorado in every category besides face-offs. Colorado is 1-5 in the last five meetings. And Darling has won five of his last five starts while only giving up six goals in those five games. He's been playing very consistent. Darling is 9-3-1 on home ice and plays much better on home ice. And Colorado is also ranked last in NHL for goals per uh, game, for goals scored per game. As you can see, very high Vegas odds for them to win a negative 350 with a 5.5 total on home ways. This should be an easy win for Scott Darling tonight. Another goal that I would look at will be Steve Mason. Cost 7.7K. Uh, second highest Vegas odds to win tonight. Uh, Philly is 20-11-1 at home ways. And Carolina is 9-17-4 on the road. The home team is 5-1 in this series in the last six games. And Mason also plays a lot better on home ways. The last goal that I would be taking a look at tonight would be Brian Elliott, cost 8.6K if he gets a start tonight. Vegas uh, favors to win tonight. Calgary is 21-15 and uh, they're on home race. LA is 14-16-3 on the road, not playing very good on the road. They've been not very good all season. The home team is 4-1 in this series in the last five meetings. And Elliott is 10-0 in his last 10 games, which is beyond insane. You guys have seen how well he's been playing. He's turned this the whole team around. He plays a lot better on home race also. And the last time he played, he won. And he has the hot hand right now. So that would be the goals I would focus on tonight. If I wasn't going to, I would take one of those three goals tonight. The centers I'm looking at is uh, Jonathan Taze. The uh, Vegas favors to win tonight in a 5.5 total game on the second line of first line power play. Has seven points in his last ten games and three in his last ten. And his last three against uh, Colorado, he has three points. And he plays about 20 minutes a game, and Colorado is also bottom seven for giving out fantasy points per center, so a game. So he should be an easy lock tonight. Uh, the center that I'm going to be first picking tonight is Claude Drew. Big favorites to win tonight in the 5.5 total game. Plays on the first line of first line power play. He has nine points in his last ten games, and he plays way better on home ice if you check stats. He also has three points in his last three games against Carolina and is on a six-game point shake right now. He's on fire. He should be a good lock in cash and GPP tonight. Another center that I would look at tonight will be Anze Kopitar. Got 6.4K. Um, he's on a first line of first line power play. He has 10 points in his last 10 games, been on fire, and has in his last two against Calgary, he has assists. So it should be a nice out play tonight if you want to check, lock him in, depending on who plays in it. Also, on uh, some other value plays I'll be looking at on center tonight will be will be um, Victor Rass will be the center that I'm going to be locking in tonight. He's playing Philly. This is a high 5.5 total game. Uh, Philly should get the win here tonight, but I don't think Steve Mason gets a shot out here. And Victor Rass has moved up to the second line, and he should easily be get a, get a goal here tonight or an assist. Another. Uh, Center that I would look at would be either Nick Schultz. He's on the Nick Schultz is on the first line. Very high upside playing with Patty Kane and Panarin. 
If you want to get a piece of those guys without playing for him, you can easily uh, pay for Nick Schmaltz. He had a bit of a rough game last night, but he should have a bounce back game tonight at home against Colorado, which is an awful team. Sean Couturier would also be another nice pick to look at tonight. Nice value play, 4.2K. Uh, Alex Galchenyuk should have a nice game tonight. And also, uh, you could uh, go with the opposite of Polar if you're not taking Scott Darling and take Matt Duchesne. He's very cheap for his first line. He has a bit of high side upside. He may be able to get a goal. You never know. Uh, the wingers that I'm going to be looking at tonight, though, first is uh, Patrick Kane. Cost 8.8K. Hurt us a bit last night. Didn't kill us that much. He's in another good matchup on home ice, and his big favorites to win. And he's on the first line of first line power play in a 5.5 total game. He has 14 points in his last 10 games, and the st and stars like Patrick Kane and other people in the league don't usually go back to back nights in very good matchups without a point. He also plays better on home ice. In Colorado, he's given up 1.1 assists a game to the right wings, and also given up 6.6 .6 shots a game to the right wings. So it's an easy spot for him to have some high upside tonight. And Colorado's backup goal is also on that, I'm pretty sure, tonight. So. And he's given up over three-point goals a game. And Kane is also averaging 25.20 in his last two blowout games. Very safe floors. He takes a lot of shots. He has 52 in his last 12 games, so he should be an easy lock tonight. Another player that I'm going to be looking at is his line mate, Panarin. He's been playing uh, very good lately. Only cost 6.8K. He's had a first line of first line power play in a 5.5 total game. If you're not taking Kane, you're definitely going to want to take Panarin. Uh... You're going to want to expose to this line in the Chicago offense. And this is definitely a safe way if you don't want to pay for Kane. He has 10 points in his last 10 games. And in his last three games against Colorado, he has three points. So he's been on fire lately. Another winner that I would take a look at would be uh, Max Pacioretty. Cost 7.5K. Big favorites to win. He's on a first line of first line power play. He has eight points in his last 10 games. And he's taking the same amount of shots with 50 right now. So he has a very safe floor in his last 10 games. Has also 31 points and 34 home games. So he's almost at a point per game. And Ottawa's given up 6.9 shots a game to the left wing. So he should be a safe lock tonight also. Some other value plays that I would look at uh, would be Paul Barron. I'm taking him again tonight. Cost 4.2K. Uh, do, hopefully he does the same thing he did last night. You just needed him to get a few shots and hopefully get a lucky goal on home ice here or assist. And on this second line, John Hayden, again, I told you guys last night he was going to be good, and he had a, he had a goal last night. Um, he's definitely a good way to get exposure to that second line and that offense if you want to. Wheel is also another good play if you don't want to play for Claude Drew or uh, Braden Shen. Very cheap at 3.3K. Uh, Tara Vinen is, uh, can't find his name here. Aravonen, where is he, where is he, there he is, he's on the first line, very good value play, on cost 4.7k, playing out Philly, like I said, there should be some goals going both ways in a 5.5 total game, and uh, Matthew Tuchuk, I told you guys the other night, he was going to be a good play, and he had a few goals, and the same thing again tonight, cost 5k, his price is slowly rising up, but he should be able to get some upside again tonight. On defense, I'm going to be looking at, oh, I also forgot to lock in Alexander Burroughs. I'm going to be taking on uh, the other spot in winner. He's cost 3.6K. Moved up to the second line tonight. Played a very good game last night. Had an assist. He's an, and he's on the first line power play, so he has some very high upside. He's moving from the third to the second line tonight, so I can see him playing a lot better tonight. And either getting a goal or an assist easy tonight from the power play alone. First defense I'll be looking at is Eric Carlson. He's on a first line of first line power play. Has 11 points in his last 10 games with uh, 45 shots. So it's very safe for him. And in his last three games against Montreal, he has five points. And Montreal may have uh, their backup in net tonight. He also plays way better on home ice and has 36 points in 33 games on the road. So he plays way better on the road and has a point per game. If Montreal's backup is in net tonight, Al Montoya definitely lock in there, Carlson. Another defenseman. In that I would be looking at is uh, Duncan Keith. Cost 5.6K. If you're not taking Carlson, you're definitely going to want to take Keith tonight. Big favorites to win in a 5.5 total game on the first line of first line power play. He has 7 points in his last 10 games and plays a lot better on home ice. And in his last 3 games against Colorado, he has 3 points, so he's been very consistent against Colorado. Easy lock-in tonight. Shea Weber. 
This is also another pick to look at if you're not paying for Eric Carlson tonight. Uh, big favorites to win on a first-line, first-line power play. He has six points in his last ten games, and he plays way better on home ice. He also has four points in his last three games against Ottawa, and Ottawa is bottom five in the league in the NHL for giving out fantasy points to D-men. So he should be a very safe, safe pick tonight. The defense that I'll be looking at is Ivan Probershev's on a first-line, first-line pro, uh, power play. Uh, big favorites to win a 5.5 total game. I definitely want a piece of this uh, Philly uh, offense tonight and the upside that they could have. Some other defense that you want to take a look at for value would be Justin Falk. Johnny Oduya, I told you guys to take him the other night on uh, DraftKings. He definitely paid off. Plays his best hockey in Chicago and has some high upside. Turned out on the second line against Colorado. Uh, Slavin, you guys all know what he does. Very high upside. And there should be good, some goals going both ways. And uh, Raka, Raka is, uh he's on the second line. Has some decently high uh, upside as he could get in on a goal and assist tonight. But he blocks a lot of shots. And he takes a few shots. And he has has some games that he does go off and get a lot of points, so should be a safe play if you're looking for a cheap value play tonight. That'll be the lineup I'm using tonight. Make sure you guys change up a player if you feel there's a player in a better uh, matchup. Um, also, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the video. Hit the subscribe button, turn off the notification button so you don't miss any videos. And follow us on Twitter at DFS underscore archive. Good luck today, guys. Let's keep the fire going.